party, what's that sound? It's a musical car It's the hit sensation across the nation With an up-and-coming star You see me riding every day I'm never too far It's just a musical car Hello, you're watching Jeff's Musical Car, and this week I have Patrick Murray, proud New Brunswicker musician, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna play some music. So uh, yeah, hello. Th thanks for coming along. No, thanks for thanks for having me. I'm pretty excited to be uh, in the back seat of your car, <laughs> playing some some tunes and yeah. talking about music. So uh, you're, I've been following your your resurgence into the whole music industry. Can yeah. You, can you give me a little <clears throat> bit of uh, insight just um, sure. the last um, couple months? Uh, it's been kind of crazy. I I got out of the military and then I went to, to school in the fall and I hated it. Mm -hmm. uh, I went to an open mic and they they liked me so much that they booked me there. It was a Duncan Club and I've just been booking shows ever since. Uh, and uh, just I just decided to launch into music full time. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, it's had its challenges because I'm basically, I didn't have a website, built that, and, yeah. and getting merch going and, and a bunch of other things, but, you know, slowly but surely it's getting steady, um, you know, getting more regular places to play, and, and uh, um, I, I went down for uh, a break slash uh, to play some down in, in, in Texas uh, and to see my a marine buddy of mine. Uh, Jerry uh, Jerry Johnson okay. and uh, w when I was down there I mean I was still working still you know there's there a couple festivals I'm playing um, I was able to secure like uh, uh, I'm gonna be involved in a songwriters uh, uh, there's like this songwriters camp uh, part of Stanfest and uh, when you when you go to this camp you get to, uh, to play on the, the main stage uh, I think it's called Sherbrooke, mm -hmm. Sherbrooke stage, and, and anyway, I'm looking forward to to that uh, in the summer, and I'm playing the Miramichi Folk Festival the 8th and 9th of August, and also the 5th and 6th uh, Campobello Island uh, Folk Festival, uh, and I'm, I'm just waiting to hear back from other, other yeah. uh, you know, other opportunities in the summer, but probably the most exciting thing is, uh, well, next week is ECMAs. Um, I'm attending a lot of seminars mm -hmm. for experience. Uh, and um, a, a week after that, I'm going in the studio with J.P. Cormier, which okay. is pretty exciting. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. So uh, I think we waited long enough. We're going to, let's get to, right to the music. Yeah, what, yeah. what song are you going to play? Tell me. Um, this is called uh, Stuck in Munich. Um, it's just a song about uh, perspective, I guess. <laughs> okay. So let's do it. Okay. Stuck in Munich, can't find my tunic. I need a ride. Can't find my baby, yes, no, maybe. I just wanna hide. Days getting longer, need something stronger. Haven't slept a week. Thanks, my noodle, it feels like strudel. I can barely think we could be down by the Amazon underneath the Yucca tree if you would accept my kiss. We could be happily married, you and me together in wedded bliss. Stuck in Munich, can't find my tunic, I feel so lost. Stores all empty, sludge is heavy. What a toll it's cost Phone is dying, I feel like crying What am I to do? This day's been shizer and then a realizer Baby, I love you We could be down by the Amazon Underneath the Yucca tree if you would accept mine kiss We could be happily married You and me together and wedded
stuck in Munich, can't find my tunic, but it ain't so bad. Sun is shining, now I'm realizing all the things I had. Beer is amazing, Fraulein's chasing, but my word is true. If you be my snooky, we'll play a little hooky, cause baby I love you. We could be down by the Amazee, underneath the Yakka tree, if you would accept mine kiss. We could be happily married, you and me together in wedded bliss. Down by the Amazee, underneath the Yakka tree, if you would accept mine kiss. We could be happily married, you and me together in wedded bliss. Together in wedded bliss. In bliss. Yeah. Tell me, tell me about the um, the transformation. I guess going from military to the arts because it's yeah, it's basically um, the polar opposite. Yes, I, uh, two different kind of frights. It is very. You know, it's funny. Um, I did a lot of analysis in my in my military career, and the analysis side of things actually works out quite well when uh, you're writing songs, because you 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 analyze um, what you're writing and just go over it over. Like for me, the songwriting process is a lot of repetition, and yeah. it's got to sound right in my brain. But uh, but I also find like some of the the skills uh, that I learned in the military, like dealing with people. Um, it really helps me um, in in a music sense because I, I I think I'm a little bit more mature like coming into this um, yeah, the discipline you know, side yeah I mean half of my life is already lived and now I'm going into this uh, this new chapter and I I, I was always uh, the type of person that if I was given a job I'd get it done and and I'm I'm using that same principle like I I, I you know, a lot of times when I when I get a job, I, I don't need anyone else. Like I, and I'm very self motivated mm -hmm. to get to get work done. And, and uh, I mean, sometimes I'll I'll be working at night for for whatever thing. I mean, you know, you're always trying to 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 create that next edge as a, as a musician and find that opportunity. And I mean, there's bursaries and so many things to do. And uh, you know, I I find I. I'm doing it, but I, I love it because it's, you know, it, it, it's it's what I love to do. It, it's it's like my own, um, you know, when you see, when you book a, a show and, and you make some money and, it, I mean, and you're playing your own stuff. Yeah. Um, that That's probably the most rewarding. You know, I, I'm not a cover guy. You know, a friend of mine once told me, he said, you know what, Pat, you're not a, you're a creator, you're not a regurgitator. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I, I've stayed true to that. And I, I plan to to do it, and I know these are like the championship miles uh, the next couple of years, and and uh, I'm looking forward to to putting put in my my stripes and and taking some punches and and uh, and just just making a go at it at it. So no, I, I can definitely just see by your social media like. You're basically yeah. doing everything you possibly can from workshops to networking, yeah. talking with musicians, Absolutely. just like yeah. you're really diving head first. Like, yeah, let's do this. I am, man. I'm, I'm, uh, sometimes I feel like I'm driving in a car uh, while trying to fix it. You know, <laughs> like, It kind of feels like that, but uh, it's so exciting and I'm so thankful for, for you know, some of the opportunities and, and um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a believing man. I, I do believe in prayer and, and uh, I, I was worrying about who was going to produce this album, this LP, and uh, um, you know, I, I was sitting in a chair and I was, I was waiting and I actually had watched some like Joel Osteen messages and, and uh, talking about the floodgates of heaven and then all of a sudden I get this phone call. Uh, uh, um, and it was JP Cormie. And yeah. I was like, wow, this is, this is great. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I, I definitely love your passion. Oh, and, thank you. Um, I'll be keeping an eye on, on your music career. Right on, man. Hopefully we'll uh, see you on the big stage soon. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> thank you so much for, uh, uh, this opportunity to, to ride in your car and play some, some music. So. No problem. <laughs> so that was Patrick Murray. Keep an eye out for him in your town, city and, uh, support local music. We'll see you next time.